very important. So to, today we shall be studying all the important trauma scores that we have in trauma. So this is the continuation of the previous chapter. So when we talk about trauma scores, what is the most commonly used score? The first that we have is GCS. Now what is the concept of GCS? It's a very, very, very easy score to remember. It's a Glasgow Coma Scale. Glasgow Coma Scale. When we talk about the Glasgow Coma Scale, you are not a surgeon or you are not a doctor if you don't know anything or if you don't know about the Glasgow Coma Scale. So Glasgow Coma Scale. It's a very, 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 very important score. And what is it all about? It is nothing but evaluation of evaluation of best clinical best clinical response response to the three systems what are the three to the eye to the verbal system and to the motor system so these are all very 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 important things that we need to understand when we talk about the glasgow's always remember this word best now let us see what are the important things that we have to understand in this so let us check out what is Glasgow's all about. So we will check the response to three system, eye, verbal and motor. So response to eye opening. So when we talk about the response to eye opening, what are the important things? So suppose I got a patient in emergency, I went to see that patient, he was doing something on his phone. So that means eye opening students is what's to? It's spontaneous. So if the eye opening is spontaneous, I shall be giving him a score of four. Suppose I went to see that patient, the patient was sleeping. So I took his file and read his name. His name was suppose Rajesh. And I said, hi Rajesh, how are you? I'm Dr. Dixit. So to my command, he opened the eyes. So that is eye opening to command. So eye opening spontaneous is four. Eye opening to command is what students? Three. Suppose he didn't open the eyes to command also, then I will be giving him a what? Painful stimulus. So what is that known as eye opening to pain? And that is given a score of two. And suppose if there is no response, then that is given a score of what? One. So maximum is four and minimum is one. Then we talk about the response to motor system and verbal system. So when we are talking about the verbal system, it is what is very, 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 very simple and straightforward. What is that? So suppose I went to meet that patient and he said, hi, doctor, how are you? And is there anything significant in my reports or is there anything to worry about how long I'm expected to stay in hospital so if he's if you see this patient he is oriented with time place and person so these are the three important things and that is why you will say that he is oriented so oriented means what a score of what five suppose I went to meet that patient and he said hi Radha let's go for dance again if you see the statements are absolutely clear and understandable but he is not oriented with time, person and space because I am not Radha, this is not right time to dance and neither is this right place to, you can say, dance. So these patients are kept in what category? Confused and that is what is taken as four. Then we have inappropriate speech. Now what do you mean by inappropriate speech? This is again very, 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 very simple. Let us take this as, suppose cricket match, Virat Kohli, Naren Modi ji and Anushka Sharma. So there are four different characters here. Each and every word carries a meaning and let us take New Delhi also. So each and every word carries a meaning but you cannot make out this. So it could be anything like Narendra Modi went to meet Anushka Sharma and uh, Virat Kohli during cricket match or it could be like Virat Kohli was playing the cricket match in New Delhi and uh, Modi ji was inaugurating for this and that or anything Modi ji was or uh, Anushka Sharma was in date with Virat Kohli and Modi ji was playing cricket. So anything could be made. There are a lot of permu permutation and combinations. I'm just giving a reference example. Now what do you mean by this? We mean to say that words are correct but you cannot make a meaningful speech out of that and that is what is known as students inappropriate speech. And then we have incomprehensible words so incomprehensible words or students you can say we have sounds so when we talk about anything which cannot be found in the vocabulary so like abuse so someone is abusing someone is crying someone is moaning in pain so that is taken as two now you will say sir abuse is what we take it as three you can take it as five also in India so we are acclimatized to that but can you find a meaning of a single abuse in dictionary and if something is not present in dictionary it is not to be taken seriously 
as V2, V uh, anything more than V2. Next is no response. So when we talk about this no response, that is taken as 1. So minimum response is 1, maximum response to verbal system is 5. The third system we have and this is the most dominating system and that is the motor system. So when we talk about the motor system, what are the important things that we need to understand? Suppose I went to the patient, I asked him to raise his right hand, he did, that, he did, he did the same. I asked him to raise the left leg, he did the same. So if you see, he obeys my command and this is what is given a score of what students? This is given a score of 6. Next is, suppose he couldn't do that same. So I gave him a painful stimulus and I asked him, can you experience the pain? He said yes. So not he is able to localize the pain, he is able to appreciate the pain. The very next thing that I will ask is, where can you appreciate this pain? He will say at the right wrist. So not only he is able to appreciate the pain, he is able to localize it also and this is what is known as localization to pain. So localization to pain and this is given a score of what students 5. The next is, I asked him, where can you experience the pain? He is not able to localize, but since it is painful, he will always retaliate to and react to that. And do you know that he will withdraw? So this is what is known as withdrawal to pain. Withdrawal to pain is what? It's a local defense posture or lo local, de local defense, you can say, reaction. So this is what is known as withdrawal to pain. So we have localization to pain and now we have withdrawal to pain. Next, he may go into a state of what? Yes, a state of flexion. So that is what is known, known as flexion to pain. So we have flexion to pain also and that is what is 3. And then we can go into the, he can go into the state of extension to pain. So when we talk about extension to pain, that is 2. And then we have no response, that is a score of 1. So minimum score for the, you can say, motor system is uh, 1 and maximum is 6. So when we talk about the GCS, so the maximum GCS that can be taken is 15 by 15 and the minimum GCS that can be taken is 3 by 15. Now let us understand the concept of GCS in case of any modification. So students nowadays we follow the new rule but I will tell you about the older rules also so that you are able to just understand what new has been done. So GCS, suppose there is a patient who is having paralysis or suppose there is a patient who has, whose limbs have been tied or suppose you have a patient who has been intubated. So GCS in case of any sort of modification. The new, the new rule says add the suffix, add the suffix NT. And what do you mean by add the suffix NT? NT means non-testable. This is what is very, very, very simple. So NT means non testable test table and what is the what is this so we add the word nt to modified to modified component let us try to understand this it's a very 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 simple thing so suppose let me give you an example that there is a person whose name is uh, suresh suresh met with rta and he opens the eyes to pain so eye opening to pain and this is what is very 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 simple then remember students, he has been intubated, he has been intubated and him, and one more thing is he localizes to pain. So when we talk about this kind of scenario, what will be the GCS? You know that it is very difficult for us to calculate the verbal system because of the intubation. So that is why we have eye opening to pain and that is given a score of what to. Verbal system, you cannot be or you will not be able to test why because of the intubation so that is modification and then motor system he localizes the pain and that is what is known as 5 so students it will be 2 plus vnt plus 5 and that will be what taken as 7 vnt students you cannot write 7 vnt as 7 nt or you cannot write 7 vnt as 7 because then the information about the modification has been diluted or the information about the modification is lost. When we talk about the older rule, what is the concept of older rule? This is again very, very, very important. The old rule says, add a score of, they used to say that, okay, the minimum score awarded to any category, any person is 1. So minimum add a score of 1. Add a score of 1 to the modifier, to the modifier, to the modifier. 
So this is what is very 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 important. Same question. So I opening to pain was to be given a score of two. Now why he is not able to you can say show you a correct verbal response? Answer is because of the endotracheal intubation. And then motor is what he localizes to pain. So that is to be taken as five. Now they say they have an argument. The minimum score for eye opening is one. Minimum score for motor system is one. Minimum score for verbal system is one. So at least one should be added. But you should mention the you can say the modifier. So seven plus one. And why you are adding one? So you know because of endotracheal intubation. So next time, if you get something written like this in old MCQs, always remember that eight et. So here the component of modification is endotracheal intubation and you know that because of that minimum a score of 1 has been added and remaining two systems are adding to a score of what 7. So this is the old system which we don't follow now. We follow what? This is the new system that NT system is the new system. Now based upon the GCS how do you calculate the head injury and this is again very 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 important. So on the basis of GCS. What are the different categories of head injuries? So we have one as minor, one as mild, one as moderate and one as severe. So there are four important categories that we have minor, mild, moderate and severe. When we talk about minor, what is that students? It's very, very, very important. GCS of the patient 15 by 15 irrespective of the level of laceration or level of injury will always call it a minor head injury. So suppose Rajesh meets with his friend and then they had uh, an argument and suppose Rajesh is hit by his friend on his skull and there is a laceration and he's come to you he is narrating his story that sir everything was fine and then over a small petty issue there was an argument and just see this is so profusely bleeding write it as severe head injury I will take a very strict legal action against him so you should tell dear Rajesh that this is a GCS of 15 by 15 and this is thus to be taken as minor same question a mild is 14 to 15 by 15 now you must be agitated sir how can we take GCS 15 by 15 at two places? Remember, whenever you have 15 by 15, always try to search or fetch that information. What is that? So associated with history of loss of consciousness. And this is what is really very, 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 very important. So history of loss of consciousness is important. So then we have moderate. What is that? GCS of 9 to 13 by 15. And what is severe? GCS of 3 to 8 by 15 and this is what is important important more important to learn is that what is coma so all of you know that coma is a state of head injury or coma is a persistent vegetative state or coma is a state where someone cannot support spontaneous ventilation and therefore all the patients with GCS less than equal to 8 they are considered in a state of coma and therefore they require what mechanical ventilation and this is what is very 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 important point so these are the different type of gcs that we have let us understand the other glasgow's also that we have in the industry 